Is the audio working? It is. Allegedly. Is it? I think so. It's almost live. here. It's live. That's because you just set it up. Oh, All right. Well, happy yeah. birthday. I know. Happy birthday. Now I'm already doing the wrong one, but you're not. All right. It should be fine, right? It is fine now. Someone will comment something eventually. No, there's 14 people watching it. Oh, I didn't even know you could tell how many people. Yeah, it's right there on the screen. I just learned that right now. There's 14 of you. Okay, cool. Crazy people watch this thing. All Happy right. Friday. We're doing this thing because it's Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like doing it with you. You do. I like spending time with you and maybe providing value to other people. Apparently, you want to spend time with me only when it's like live. <laughs> like, you're like, I want to do it where it's live. So, I need like, I can watch so I can document. Exactly. So I need document. Yes. <laughs> Look I at this. Spent time with you. The time was spent, and you smiled that one yeah. time. It was great. Like, see the evidence? It shows all yes. of this. Let me go back to my mm -hmm. list of all the times we spent together. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, this is, this is our live show. Happy Friday. We uh, hop on here. Myself, Matt, my wife, Lindsay. Hopefully, answer your questions, maybe provide you with some value. Maybe. But it's all in the eye of the beholder, I believe. That's yeah. how that works. Okay. Sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's with that face. This is my face. Okay. This is how I look. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yes. Every day. All right. So what do you think? What's in your hand? I see you brought yourself a drink. You did not bring I me a drink. I figured you don't drink this anymore. I could drink oh, sparkling water. So this is Lift Bridge. No, don't go get it. Fireside flannel brown ale. So this is made in still water where we live. So yeah. And Penny just puked. <laughs> All right, we oh. truly said absolutely nothing. Why do they keep saying happy birthday? Because I said happy birthday in the beginning. Oh, you did. Oh, well, it's not. It was for Eloise, but. It, it's yeah. Eloise's birthday soon. Um, a week, 10 days, what day is it today? Today's the 15th in 10 days. 10 days. Exactly 10 days. Eloise will be five, which is unbelievable. I will have a five-year-old for the third time. Yeah, and for the last time. That's just crazy. It's very wild. So I'll have grandbabies. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a thing. So what do you want to tell us? I love you. Okay. I don't have a lot to say today other than I just wanted to be here. All right. Because some people ask us to be here more uh -huh. often. So that's, that's the majority of it. All right. I do have one announcement that I can make if you'd like me to do that. Yes. Uh, Brad has been finishing up the t-shirt designs and we're going to be launching um, commemorative edition shirt editions. What do you mean commemorative? So you'll be able to get a special edition one in that limited order period that we're only going to produce in that, that one, one time in the one round. Okay. Um, what is it? Oh, it's great. Brad is, Brad came up with the signature edition. Okay. So it has my signature on it. Okay. Well, I want to see it because I know what signature. his signature looks like. And trust me, this is not anything special. It also says my name. So his you know signature what is this. So it's supposed to say. It is a squiggle line. Yes. So That's part of the allure of it. Is it? Okay. Yes. Because <laughs> like, Matt has a signature made to be like forged. So. Well, you know. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> so I will... I will be launching the first one sometime. Okay. Probably the next few weeks. So what, it just has your signature on it? What else does it have? So the first one, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. The first one we're gonna do is Slab Master. Okay. The sawmill logo. Okay. On it for the you front. Should, should've been wearing one of these shirts, huh? Well, Brad just shipped me the samples today, so. Oh, well you have all these shirts, don't you? Yeah, but the signature edition is different. How? It's a, because it's got different arm patch. Okay. And anyway. So we're doing Slab Master first. Mm -hmm. It'll have Slab Master on the front, like you've seen me wear that one before. Okay. It'll have an arm, arm print, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. That has, this is like, you know, whatever, signature edition, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then the back will say, Purveyor of Fine Logs. Okay, and cool. So that'll be the limited edition version All right. of that one. And then after that, the only one you build to get would just be Slab Master on the front. What sizes will these be in? Uh, the same as before, small through 5X. Okay. All right, and then, um, and then we'll do, how much are they? Don't know yet. Okay. I just, again, this is early. If I knew these things, I'd say go buy them now. I say, <laughs> well, there's a pre-link. Get so the like... hell out of here and go click the link and buy them now. <laughs> All right. But I'm not there yet. Okay. This, this is, again, this is like a behind the scenes, like this is exactly what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. As you can see, things are really planned around here. Oh. I really like 
Still lay things out perfectly. Yeah, since you planned this live 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I did. I did, because someone asked me on Instagram if we're doing a live today. And you were like, I guess I can write yes. I if... guess I should probably find that out, because <laughs> I didn't know if not. You didn't know the answer. Okay. So you're doing that one. What are the other ones? Okay. I don't know, the, I don't, I don't know how often this is going to be. Okay. Or what durations are going to be for everything yet. Yeah. The second one will be metal inclusion. Okay. Which you've also seen me wear before. Mm -hmm. Same, probably the same deal. Same arm patch, special edition thing. And then, again, that's the only time you can get the special edition one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Brad has finished up designs for uh, Crotch Feather. What? And uh, Burl Land. Crotch Feather? Oh, yeah. What the heck does that mean? It's a crotch figure. So does it say feather? That's another word, word for it. You've never said that word. That's because I'm, I'm not conventional. So then shouldn't it say crotch figure since that's what you say? Maybe. Yeah. Or whatever. I would vote to change that. <laughs> well. Also, crotch feather to me sounds more pornographic for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But it does. Okay, cool. So more to come on that. Yeah, I don't know how often we're going to do these, but... All right. He's like, well, he already made the designs for me to wear. Okay. So we're like, well, let's just see what happens. See if people like them? Yeah. All right. So at least we got that going. So I'll look for that sometime in the last couple of weeks, that first one. Mm -hmm. and then we'll keep going from there. I don't know how often. Don't know how long the order period is going to be. Don't know anything. Don't know how much it's going to cost. I, have no, I got, Don't know who's going to ship that. I got a quote. <laughs> I have to get a quote still on the printing. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. Just mm -hmm. so you know, okay. it's more of a, this is coming Okay. in case you decide to not pay attention to me yeah. for a while. All right. Cool. All right. Um, question from Kevin. Do you, do you sell slabs to be delivered out of state Virginia? Yes. Um, for shipping, I have a $4,000 minimum order though. Okay. And they have to pay for shipping. So how much does shipping usually cost? Uh, I guess it's where it goes. That's it like a terrible question. Depends how big it is, how far it's going to be. Um, um, yeah, usually it's like anywhere. And if you want it, the cheapest is going to be if you go pick it up at the freight terminal yourself mm -hmm. versus having it delivered to a residence. We need a lift gate yeah. and all that. That costs like an extra $150 just to have that extra okay. bonus there too. Mm -hmm. So Things to think about. Things to think about. Anywhere from... Two or three hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, cool. Ish. Ish. All right. From David. Hey Matt, finally got around to putting together one of my style five chairs. Oh. It's awesome to have a sturdy and solid chair. Thanks. That one especially. Holy hell. What? That one's heavy. Start change back. What are you doing? Take out a sweater. It's so hot. Why are you doing it off camera? It's not oh. in my belly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, where are you going? No one wants to see my belly. Yes, the style five is stout that one you can do some stuff in if you ever if you need a chair for doing stuff in so that's cool that's good and are, are they, these just the first one just one yeah so are these chair kits where are they available what does this mean what oh yeah you can us? there's a link below here you can go and you can check out these chair kits that i sell i think i'm supposed to be more self-promotive now um yeah i have these chair kits so if you want to build a chair but you don't want to make all the parts yourself you can buy the kit that has all the parts all shaped mm -hmm. and cut and the joiner is ready. You can do all your final sanding, your edge profiles. You can do any mods you want to do. Slap the thing together and put some finish on it and say you made it. Because you did. Because you did. You yeah. made a chair. Mm -hmm. Don't get into the details. <laughs> I think that you don't have to get into the details because you still made it. <laughs> so. From Timothy, what is plain is on the bench? This little puppy here that I moved around. Do uh, you know what that one is? Uh, it's a heavy one. We should play that game after this. This is no. the Lee Nielsen number four bronze. Did you get that when we were in Canada? No. Oh. I think we, what has what does Canada have to do with that? We went to Leo Niels. That's what? Lee Valley. Oh, there's too many Lees. Because we went there, and I remember you were, like, obsessed with going there. It was, like, a big deal. I've never been there before. I know. Okay. That's fine. It was cool. It, I we we went to the there store twice. in Vaughn. I think we went twice, too. Did we go twice? I think so. I really do. Because we went like at the beginning at the end. All right. How much? Let's play the game. 1500 
Sweet. How much is it for real? I just know it's you. I don't know how much it is now. Okay. I don't know how much it is when I bought it. Okay, it was 500 bucks. No. How much? 350 Really? How much do you think it is now? I have no idea. I haven't shot for planes in a while. I just feel like that looks like, to me, it looks very sturdy. It's heavy. and like It's bronze, so it's heavier than the, than the steel. So that's why I feel like iron. it's a lot. And also, you know, you can change the blades. So I'm like, they're going to say that this is multifaceted tool so they can charge more. <laughs> so yes, they, you can buy the different frogs, which is the part in the back here mm -hmm. that changes the blade angle. Yeah. Uh, those, I think, were like 50 bucks. When I bought this? I didn't buy any, but I think they were because 50 or 60 or something. No, you get like the standard frog, and then you can buy the different angles to change the blade angle. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an add-on, I guess. You can get there. The 500? Yeah, you can get the 500 <laughs> with all the accessories, I guess, if you want to buy different so accessories. Right. So I was right. I saw hearing. I guess. <laughs> I didn't spend it, so I guess we're both right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you bought these things then. These are on they the They came with it. Oh, those came with it? Okay. This is fully loaded, ready to go. Oh, I thought you bought these extra ones or something. The blade? No. no. What kind of crappy plane does it come with a blade? You know what? I feel like what crappy phone doesn't come with a charger? <laughs> yet nowadays, <laughs> Apple phones don't. So that's, that's fair. And yet the price that's goes fair. higher. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I accept this. Yeah. Um, all right, speaking of tools, from Dustin, what's your More favorite? More tool questions. Mo moisture meter. I guess I only have one that's favorite because I only only have one that's good. Okay, and what is it? I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I don't get it. It gets so far away. It's like I have whatever. two of these. Well, I, whatever. I remember you actually did a sponsorship with them. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. That was like 2018, and we did a Wagner, and they gave him. Mm. Were they the ones that gave you the the knives? That's Case. Oh, you're right. Sorry. That was a different company. That was different. Okay. But I remember helping you take pictures for this. That's how long ago. We were at Old House. Yeah. I think it was, tw that was 2018, I think. Okay. So the Wagner meter, I think. They have a lot of different ones. This is the 950, which is way more than anyone needs. I, I had previous, or I still have. You'll see it in this week's video, which is down below. You'll see both Yay. this meter and the old one that I bought. I had the, uh, the 210, I think that it used to be, the old ones. I think that's, all, that's really all you need mm -hmm. is the 10 version. Okay. This one has like all kinds of this, like things that most people would never use, including myself. But this is like their flagship one, okay. which is why they sent it out as that ad thing. Um, but it's the scanning meter, so you don't have to like put holes in things. It gives you a reading down to uh, three quarters of an inch thick. It gives you an average of the moisture in that three quarter inch, whatever you want to call that, chunk area or mm -hmm. whatever. And this one, because it's fancy, it'll tell you like, Things you don't really need on a moisture meter, like oh. the dew point. I thought you like the time. <laughs> they probably would tell you the time. Like if you're doing like, if you're running like an actual operation, like a kiln operation, you could hook this up to your computer via Bluetooth and then you could log every reading you do in yeah. your whole stack. If you need to do that for some reason. You can. I never have. <laughs> but if you wanted to like track and have it automatically go into like a spreadsheet or whatever, mm -hmm. you could do that with this, which okay. again, I don't think... That's something that most people would ever need or use. But it's there. But it's there. So they got a few different All right. uh, models of meters. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. There's that one. And um, speaking of why you dry wood, or I guess you would use Why it. I dry wood. Well, I guess you would even if you didn't cut your own wood, you'd still want to know sometimes the moisture. You wood. absolutely would not want to yes. know that, yes. But in any case, from my call, can we buy slabs individually if we are local? Yes. I'll answer that. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can buy them for remote too, but you gotta come pick them up. Yeah, um, but yeah, you can. People do it all the time. Not all the time. But they <laughs> used to do it all the time when we lived in Brooklyn Center. That's when I had a lot more time for the retail side yeah. of things. Mm -hmm. That's how I got started before doing this stuff. Yeah. Before doing videos full time, that was my side hustle. It was peddling wood. Yeah. That was a hustle, all right. <laughs> like you had fun. You still. I mean, I met a lot of people, but like, it it takes a while to sell through. Like, I was doing boards, like edged boards back then. Mm -hmm to like sell through 500 board feet of like material, which is half of what we would do in the basement at the time. Yeah. I mean, it would be, that's a lot of people if they only come by to buy like 20 or 30 board feet at a time. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that our basement was just full of wood. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think yeah. I blacked that out. <laughs> <laughs> tried a lot of wood in there. Oh my gosh, yes you did. I remember that, like, the distinction between that time of my life till now 
is like remarkable yeah in the sense that like back then like I would carry, hand carry every single board ah. across the yard through like the basement into the stack and hand stack and sticker every single board in the stack in the basement. Okay, remember how many times we did that? I helped you multiple times because we would I'm have well to rearrange aware, I'm it. I'm well aware of how many times I did it. All I did to rearrange that Nowadays, summer. like if it ain't on a pallet and I can't fork it somewhere, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> like, it, it. like that's the dramatic difference <laughs> between then and now. Right. Like I have zero interest in hand, hand moving anything. Put it on a pallet and just fork it somewhere. All right, lazy butt. Exactly. Although, like, the amount of work, it was... I just remember so many nights. Remember you like, walking slabs across the driveway? Yes, I did, yes. <laughs> I walk yeah. them to the shed. Yeah, so many times. I feel like we spent so many evenings being like, I need you to help me move all these wood. And I'd be like, oh my God. That's what I used to do. That was my, that was my side hustle back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. So speaking of drying wood, oh, man. from Robzilla, when Good are you days. getting a kiln? I dry is an awesome way to dry slabs. I got Eric, so like, unless I start selling like literally 10 to 15 times as much material than I sell now, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. So probably not. Unlikely. It'd be cool. I, mean, I would like to have that style of vacuum kiln specifically to make videos like about it, more educating in the process mm -hmm. and myself knowing more about it. Mm -hmm. But that's the only, it, it makes no financial sense other than like my own education and your oh. all's education. Right, so can you play, we, we need to start like charging tuition then. <laughs> 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 Which, no one wants to do that. <laughs> Let's be serious. Okay, um, question from Jerry. Hey Matt, just curious why you don't move your shop out to the new building. It seems like you're pretty crowded in the garage shop. I like this space a lot. It's a good size to not have to like take a lot of steps all over the place. <laughs> Um, I really liked, I, we talked about this before because I still want to build my dream shop, but. Maybe Jerry doesn't know that. I'm planning on building an actual shop. That building is just a building. I have no, I have no like emotional attachment to that. <laughs> what? We need no emotional attachment to like, it. I didn't plan it. Like I wouldn't dream about it. I didn't like want it per mm -hmm, se. Mm -hmm. These are not things you should be telling me. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it was like within a month. It was like, okay, I guess we're doing a building. Here's mm -hmm. how it's going to look. This That's is where it's going to be. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. I put zero, like, it wasn't like, oh, I'm playing, I'm playing this out. I, I didn't romanticize it. Okay. How's that? Is that better? Mm, a little bit, but barely. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, the, this space and its proximity in the house is super convenient because, like. Yeah. Like, working at night, he comes down here a lot. I just come down here to like, put stuff away. Yeah. Not even do anything, but just, like, I'm here in the house. I'm still, like, present, but I'm, like, in here, and, like, I guess I could move my, I was going to say my desk is right there, and I'm on and off my computer like throughout the day. I like this one. He likes the garage shop, shop so he can bug his wife easier. That's true. She's right there. He does do that. I'm right through that wall that you can't see behind you. I go bother her a lot. So that, that part's nice. <laughs> also, like, if anyone knows Matt in, like, the, what, 3D life? 3D life. 4D life, what is it? Outside the camera. Ask her children, or me, mostly the four. Four of us feel this way. He is always disappears. Just disappears. It is like probably you the number know where one, I am by now. Number one pet peeve. He just disappears. Um, and so if his shop, eventually if he does build that shop and it's down there, it's going to be even more frustrating being like, where the heck is Matt? It's just gone. He just disappeared. And he's probably in the shop. He's Now like phone. down there. At least then you'll know it'll be a lot easier to know where I am. Why would I check my phone? With my little dot. Oh, I don't. Find my friend thing. I don't even know if I have you on find my friend. Oh, well. Whatever. That's Maybe you have me on you. I don't think I have you on me. I don't know. In any case. In any case, That's the nice the thing. thing about having the building is I have been using that as an accessory space. Mm -hmm. So anything that I'm not currently using in the shop goes out there. Yeah. So that helps to free up a lot of space. Yeah. You were saying to me actually earlier that if you didn't have that space, you don't know how you would have painted everything. Yeah, I have no idea. That, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I would have done that, where I would have staged all of this material. I have I got zero idea. Yeah. It would have been horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, where to go? Okay, so we have a couple questions yeah, about. Questions. <laughs> First, this is funny. Robert, who is Matt's hairstylist? It looks so caveman natural. I believe Jesus. Jesus is your. <laughs> you just show the hairstylist a copy of Jesus. I want that. <laughs> it's appropriate. It is Lent. So. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple about. Um, what do I call? The first one about the kitchen. So oh boy. first from Patrick, the kitchen. will the kitchen be done by the 4th of July? 
I hope so. It better be. Do you know, if anyone wants to watch by like five eight, eight, live before this, he very definitively said that this would be done by Easter. Someone, is that the wind? It was the wind. Yeah. I hope. Whatever. Um, which obviously that is not even remotely accurate I'm, now. I'm getting there. I didn't say you weren't. The island's going to be like That's another popping. question. When is popping. the island going to be finished? When we pick a finish. We got to do that still. still I'm work. not holding him back. So don't. Oh, I'll do whatever me. I want? No. I told you what I <laughs> no. liked. And I feel like you didn't like my answer. No, I don't I like your answer because I got to make more samples now for okay. you. Well, <laughs> I told him I liked two. Well, he put it, one of the finishes on like a crazy figured board. So I thought that that was not a fair sample. I've, I've put a new one up there that has the same finish on it for you to look at. Okay. Two days ago. You didn't ask me I look. probably forgot to tell you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. Okay. It's the skinny one. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Otherwise, I want it lighter and not darker. Like, I don't want, like, the orangey. So we're trying to shift it. So I was trying to, like, go. Rich, I was trying to go, like, a little different than the floor because I don't want it to look like the floor because I don't want it to look like flooring. I don't think it will, no matter what, but... Which I get, whatever. Maybe it's not. <laughs> so I was like, can they go a little warmer than the floor, but you want to go... Colder. Colder than the floor. Yeah. So, that's which is fine. I can do that. Got to go buy some stuff mm -hmm. across the city. Okay. So, I probably should have done that today. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. All right. Question from Type A Furniture. I flattened my wide slabs, and when I sand it... Uh, and when I sand, it becomes less flat because some sections are more dense and sand slower. I don't have a drum sander yet, but what can I do in the meantime to stay flat? Are you, like, a, with the orbital sander? Uh, well, they don't have a drum sander. So. I'm assuming with an orbital sander then, Okay. right? Um, if you have a sander, you can switch the pad on, switch to a hard pad, and then you won't have any issues with the, the pad, like, deforming into the soft mm -hmm. areas. That's what I use on my... Sander, it's right there. You want to grab it? What? This? Sander. The actual sander? The actual sander. That's not a sander. Okay, well that is a router. Ah! I bought you a router. You know what things are. Of course. On this one, on the festival, the, the, the blue one is a hard pad, so it doesn't really have any, it doesn't have any deflection to it. Yeah, he says a Rolex, Rotex with a hard pad already. Then you're probably doing something like this by accident, maybe. Because if you're holding it flat and you have a hard pad, it shouldn't be eating deeper in certain spots. Okay. So I'm going to say technique. All right. So how should you do it to make sure you're not wiggling? That's the one thing I like about the Rotex is it is like a, it's really like a two-handed sander and you have to have really good control over this. Okay. So it's harder. Situation like this. Okay. So it is a little more difficult of a standard to use without thinking about what you're doing the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stick with technique, not to say like, not to be hurtful. Right. Well, but also me. like sometimes, I mean, you just don't know until you like someone says, oh, wait, think, are you pushing harder on one spot? And then you're like, oh my gosh, I was, I didn't even realize yeah, and it. Especially if you have like, if you got like the hose thing hooked up and it's like dangling off the table, it's going to want to. Go up. Go like that. So you have to kind of counteract that. That's one thing I like about this style is your hand is forward of the center line because mm -hmm. you're up here like this. So that does help to counteract the, the weight of the hose and all the crap hanging out back here to help keep it flat. Um, but that's, that's what I got on that. Okay. There you go. Um, where you go? From Dustin, do you use other German hardware stuff in the kitchen other than the Halafi, whatever you did. Double, there's two dots in front of an A, so I don't even know how to say that. It's too fancy for me. Also, greetings from Germany. Greetings. No, I haven't used anything else. Because uh, one supplier is fine. Oh, you're like, I don't need multiple suppliers? Yeah, it's it enough like figuring out like the products, systems, and like the things and all the crap, like what's what goes together. It's like, there's gonna be one catalog to look at. Yeah. That's, that's worth it to me. I'm not price shop. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you got what I need. Perfect. Yep. Put that in my order and it all comes together. Right. <laughs> there's, there's too much minutia to all this weird kitchen hardware stuff. Or not, not even kitchen, like any kind of weird cabinetry. Closets, kitchens, built-ins. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new world. 
for me because I don't, it's I don't, too much. I don't go. I'm not part of this world normally. Yeah, no, I'm not a designer. I don't look at like design books and being like, oh, this is a cool way to do whatever. This is the first, so it's really hard, honestly. Uh, question from Robert: How long should you air dry um, eight forest slabs? I cut eight. I had eight cut from a down tree from my yard six months ago. Should I have them kiln dried? Depends where you live. And when you want them. Depends Don't. how they are stickered. Depends where they are stacked. The best way to know. The people who gave <laughs> money many years ago, but. <laughs> you get one of those, there's no guessing. Okay. Cause then, but then how do you know how long each percentage? Like it's like, I'm at 30%. How do you know when it's going to get down? Give a long time if you're at 30%. Well, okay. But like, then you're like, how much, how many months does it take to get down to 10? Again, irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Because that's the, you need all the variables to go into it. That's the output. Right. Okay. If you don't have all the variables to go into it, you don't know what the output's going to be. So it's like, you got to be in a basement or what do you want to be in a dry area? Right. Yeah, but you want to be, it's going to come to whatever the equilibrium is. So if you're, if you have a stacked outside, for instance, no matter, let's say unconditioned outside, it's covered, it's enclosed. Let's say it's in a, a barn mm -hmm. or a shed or a garage. Okay. Well, let's go with garage. Mm -hmm. So you go and you see like, what's the relative humidity in that garage? And you say, okay, it's probably going to be different than inside the house. And typically it's probably going to be higher. So you're not going to be able to get it dry enough to be like, Usable? At equilibrium in, for the indoors. Okay. If you get it close enough, then it's fine, but you're going to have to plan for some shrinking as it comes into the house. What if they're stickered in a gravel pad in uh, Mississippi? Mississippi is a weird one because I don't know like that much about the weather there. I feel like it's damp. In my head, I think it's damp. And I feel I like it's, it's damp hot, there. But that doesn't mean anything. Like, I feel like it's that's... damp and humid there. Just because we live in the Midwest. <laughs> I feel like we just think that. We're like, oh, they're down by water. Yeah, it's like swampy or something. Yeah, uh, that could be totally not accurate. <laughs> Again, uh, get you one of these things. If you get the fancy one, this will tell you what your uh, current equilibrium moisture content is on here. As you can go to equilibrium moisture content, it'll tell you what the, they can't even see that. But right now it says 5.8. Okay. So if I brought a piece of wood in here, the driest it would ever get right now is 5.8. Okay. So start with that to know like what the surrounding is because then you go, it's never going to go below that. And you don't need one of these to know that. You can go online. There are charts and graphs that will show you what the equilibrium moisture content is for the relative humidity that you're in. Mm -hmm. And that will tell you like where you're going to kind of bottom out at. But keep in mind that wood drying is not a linear process. It's, let's see if I can do this backwards. Is it this way? Hang on. What are you trying to do? Trying to do like a regression, exponential like regression. Is that right? Hang on. Uh -huh. This way for you guys. Yeah, like that. Like this. This is time. This is moisture. It doesn't just do this. this. It's not this. It's this. Dips really It deep. dips and then like the, the longer, the closer to like zero you get, the longer it takes. Right. A lot of moisture loss in this initially and then it bottoms out and gets like almost horizontal. The math, mathematicians out there. <laughs> Either they're like, he's going crazy. Or I can't do this it's backwards. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. pretty timely because we talk about that a lot in tomorrow's video. Oh, really? Okay, good. Yeah. Right. Because I used a piece of wood that's not dry. Oh, you did? Yeah, for your legs. Why? Because all I had. Then how does, that, how does that impact then the project, the final product, if it's not dried wood? Well, it's going to move, right? They're just legs. So I'm not, they're not like restricted between anything. Okay. So they're going to shrink, but they're legs. So you're not worried. So like, they're just kind of move in a little bit. So I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. I guess we'll find out. All right. From Clumps Consulting. I live in Invergrove Heights. That's near us. And I just finished my gable style post frame. Spray foam prices are up 50% since you did your barn. Did Again? You, did you consider any less expensive installation options? I did. And what were they so that maybe they're cheaper? <laughs> um, I looked at bat insulation. Okay. And so two different kinds of bat insulation, like the normal bat insulation, like you would see like the pink stuff you put in a house, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And then there's also the roll ones that you just like on the post frames you just like roll it down i think you just roll it down the outside of the whole building and then you slap your steel onto it so it's kind of like deformed in there against all the girts or something like that 
That's yeah. the cheapest. It's also like the least, least effective. Um, I went with spray foam because I wanted the air sealing that it gives you. Right. Because it's like perfect, uh, per perfectly air sealed. There's no, you don't have to worry about vapor barriers. You don't have to worry about sealing anything. And it can be applied like directly to the, uh, the walls and the ceilings and everything. Okay. Cool. All right. And also I didn't have to install it. Right. For Matthew. Uh, all, Matt with all the walnut and the shed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Remember. Okay. Wondering if you there's... You need a motion meter. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's going to talk about drying lumber. Wondering if there's any sort of maintenance I need to do for fully dried lumber that is um, dead stacked. Thanks so much. You guys are the best. Uh, maintenance? Yeah. Like, like, once it's fully dry, it's, like, sitting there. Do you have to do anything, like, to make sure it doesn't, like, then get... Can it get too dry? I mean, if it's dead stacked, it's not going to do anything because there's no airflow. What does dead stacked mean? That means there's no stickers between the boards. They're just, okay. It's just sitting there. Okay. All touching. Right. All touching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the only thing you want to... You want to get something... To that, check. ...that'll tell you where it's currently at okay. versus where it would be at in your house at equilibrium. So you want to like check on it every once in a while or what? Like before you, you're planning on using it for a project, like a month okay. before, a few weeks before at least, so you have time to maybe like even bring it into your shop if that's a different environment than shed. Yes, shed. Yeah, if your shop's like a different environment than your shed, like my shop is a heated, insulated garage, mm -hmm. which is heated and insulated all year. Right. Or I guess in the winter, I heat in the summer. Yeah. But if I brought something in, in the winter into here, Equilibrium moisture content here in the winter is less than 4%. Right. So if I had something that was dead stacked, that I pulled the stickers out in the middle of summer and dead stacked everything, it's probably about 8 9%, and I'll still be at 8 or 9% if I pull out wood in here in the middle of winter. Okay. So I want to pull it in here, let it acclimate, let it dry a bit before I start cutting it apart. Okay. Yep. Cool. This is like a wood drying one. It is. That's what I was saying. That's why I was going... Oh, this is just nice. When I grow up, I want to be just like you, Matt. Love the work. The oh. first is don't grow up. <laughs> That's the first. That's the first, first step. Step first one. Step one to be like Matt. Never grow up. Don't grow up. Don't be, do it. Be they, Peter Pan. They lied to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a hoax. Hi, Matt. Love your content. Is there any one thing you didn't get to do in your life journey yet that you'd want to do? I don't know. What's on like your bucket list? It's another way to ask this question, sort of. I got projects I want to make. Okay. Pieces of furniture I want to make. That's I got to put one. that bridge board back together. That'd be nice. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've been pretty lucky that, like, if I want to do something, I just kind of do it. Right. I know, but everyone has, not everyone, I suppose, but you're allowed to have goals or aspirations or goals. <laughs> things that you're like, someday I want to do this. Like, I know, like, your father's goal, he wants to take everyone to Malta someday. Like, that's something I feel like that... Your dad, that's like something he likes, wants to do. I don't have anything that like comes to mind. Okay. So maybe I'm not like a goal person. I would actually probably agree with that, to be honest. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad not to have goals. I think the difference between you and a lot of people is that you don't have goals because you are very much already living in the present of like, I'd say you're more, I don't know if I'd say motivated is the right word because I don't think it is. But I'm not motivated. I don't think you are. Some, no, <laughs> I think that, that I feel like that's confusing to a lot of people, given what you do. But I don't see Matt as someone who's like a highly motivated person. I see him as someone who's like a very hard worker and is like, I have to finish all these things, so I shall finish them. Um, but I think that you get so busy that you don't have time to think about what will I do in the future because you're so busy doing what you're doing now. No. Yeah, it's, it's like yes. I mean, the, the what am I going to do in the future? It's like, okay, what's on my to-do list still? Yeah. Right, you're never you're never looking forward facing because you're already here. It's all right here. Yeah, it's all on top of me. Yes, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. Everyone's you know different. Everyone's different. Exactly. Including me. <laughs> Including. So you. different. <laughs> I like this. Be happy is Matt's goal. That's yeah, all you need. Yeah, that's I don't know. part of it. Um, <laughs> Matt probably wants to play Jesus for the local theater group. <laughs> I could do that. You could do that. I like I might be good at that. You might be. Mm -hmm. uh, from Patrick, how difficult is it to replace a motor? I've thought about getting a vintage machine, like a drill press or a bandsaw, but I don't know how far down the machine rabbit hole I want to go. Thanks. I mean, assuming that you actually buy the right motor for the machine. Why do you say that? 
because uh, when I did the planer, I used a motor that I just happened to have, uh-huh. which is not the right one for that um, instance or whatever you want to call it. And was that a bad decision? I mean, you watch the video, you see how many like stupid things I had to do to make it work. Okay. So it's more play difficult. That, to play that game. Okay. But if it's like you buy the same motor mount size, mm-hmm. the same RPM of the motor is already on there or it's supposed to be on there, mm-hmm. maybe it's, it's literally just swap it out. Yeah. Just unbolt the old one, throw the new one on, align it, make sure the pulleys are aligned. Yeah. You're done. You're done. You're not making riser blocks for your planer <laughs> because it's too tall the motor now. All right. Things mm-hmm. like that. Okay. But you wouldn't... So how difficult is it to replace a motor? It depends if you have the right one. But if you have the right one... The hardest part is finding the right size wrench Okay. for the bolts. All right. Is it metric or imperial bolt? All right. Get all your wrenches. Mm-hmm. Find the right size. Okay. Cool. In theory. Actually, okay. the hardest part, depending on how big the motor is, is moving the thing. Because mm-hmm. they're freaking heavy. Oh, there you go. From Beth, how did the boys Pinewood Derby cars do at the races? Did they finish? They finished this yeah. year, right? Yeah, they all did. Max is much better. Max got um, best, most creative. Yeah. So that was really exciting because his car was the exact replica of Matt's truck. So it was really cute. Like, they went and they got a little piece of wood and they put that in the yeah. back of the truck. Uh, and th- he made a trailer. So he made a trailer and a truck. So it was really Yeah, he cute. did the whole urban logging trailer thing. We put a giant log on it. Yeah. It looked pretty cool. It really does. I mean, he has it, and he has his trophy. I mean, I yeah. hope he keeps it forever, because I, I like it. Um, and we make them do it all themselves. So, like, the paint job is like a paint job that a seven-year-old would do. But I think it looks nice. You know, I, that's why I'm really glad he won, because you can kind of sometimes tell the parents... <laughs> did a lot of work on it and we're very much like I mean Matt obviously helps him like cut it but he makes them draw it and so then Matt cuts what they draw and sometimes that was a bad drawing yeah, choice this but cut, this is the line you want me to cut to yep okay so that's what we're cutting to yeah <laughs> whatever you say you're the boss yeah I'm just operating the saw yeah so um but this year I feel like they maybe learned from that from last year because they're maybe not, they're maybe <laughs> maybe the last did. two years they've done it for this is the third year but yeah, they did great. JR is finished too, and he didn't get like a prize or anything because his wasn't like that fast. But he got really into it. Like he wants us to buy. You can buy a special. Um, what was it? Like a jig, so that you can make yeah. your wheels work better or whatever for cutting. For drilling all the weird holes if you want to do like cambered wheels and like one wheel is not touching or whatever. Yeah. There's a whole thing about it. So like he went online and looked up how to like make cars better, and he found an ad for a jig. <laughs> So and ads work, at buying, least for ourselves. We're buying this, <laughs> this derby drilling hole jig. Yeah. So they're excited about that. Oh, I can hear someone. Oh, okay. A question for me. Oh, boy. If you could run your own business, what would it be? What do you think the answer is? Your own business? Yeah. I want to see what you think the answer is. Probably like something chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty close. Um, but that's all you can think? Something chill? Some kind of like writer's workshop space or something. So I would probably want... Something doesn't need to make any money. <laughs> yeah. Ideally, the perfect business for you would be like, I don't need to make any money here. And why do you say or that? Or cover my expenses. And why do you think that? Just make it chill. And why do you think that's what I want? I feel like you have a lot of stress already. <laughs> if you want to like run another business, it needs to be like not businessy. Yeah, like no, because yeah, as a lawyer... Something a else needs to subsidize this business. Well, presumably in this world, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be a lawyer anymore, or unless I wanted to run a law firm, which I don't. Um, it would probably be make like a coffee shop slash book sh- like bookstore combo kind of thing. It would be really fun. But I do know that It'd running be coffee really shops. Really fun. <laughs> the, the, until you look at the books. Yeah, so, yeah until you look at the, <laughs> but also the one thing I don't like, I would have it be. It'd probably be like my favorite coffee shop, honestly, in Stillwater that closes at two every day. Um, so they're not open for dinner, and I would probably do something like that because I'm like, I, the hours are hard when you dinner own. coffee. No, but I mean, like, owning well, a restaurant. there you go. You're like, since you guys are closed, let me rent the space from you from 2 to 8 every yeah. day. And they can... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think so, Ollie? There's your business. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. worry about anything. You just got to pay them. Mm-hmm. You just got to pay rent. Just got to. So, yeah, something like that. Something chill is right. I would probably... <laughs> something chill. But I don't know. I really like coffee shops because I feel like in America, mm-hmm. we always... We eat food very fast. Like you sit down in a restaurant, it's like you're supposed to turn these files, files, turn these tables over in 45 minutes. Because I was a was a, oh because they're a business. They're, yes. Well, oh, funny how that works. <laughs> they aren't like that in other uh, countries though either. Like it, 
And so I like coffee shops because in America, you're allowed to sit there for as long as you want. Everyone's allowed to come. It, I don't know. I like that. It's very much more embracing a slow lifestyle, which America, that's hard to come by. But yeah. And Eloise is being my mime right now. I don't know what this is right now. Right? I, I'm not sure either. It's terrifying. Yeah. Hmm. Um, from Mike, what shirt is Matt wearing? I don't know. I'm wearing. It's for Minneapolis, actually. I spilled coffee on myself. It's, he wrote it's multi-protocol nice. labeling switching. Um, yeah, that works. Also Minneapolis. <laughs> also Minneapolis, yes. Yeah. Mm. Right, Eloise? Hello. Mm-hmm. Hello. It doesn't hurt. Good. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Mm-hmm. Nanny, no, no. Okay. Well, what's going to happen? Happy birthday for you. Yeah. It's almost your birthday, right? Mm. How old are you going to be? Five. Did you have school today? Did you have fun? You say you're saying there. Oh. I know. Oh, you can see yourself in there. And you're talking Oof. in there. I know. Uh, from Dustin, oops. have you ever checked out some of the Merca tools, or are you a Fest tool and Triton only? Um, I used Merca only or Sanders when I was at Crimson Guitars, mm -hmm. which is fine. That's all I have to say, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really Ooh. used them for real, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, I like this idea from Fred. A t-shirt subscription called the Arboretum Collection, monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly tees, <laughs> featuring various uh, trees, each shirt having a picture of a tree and info about it printed on it. I like that. That's a really cool idea. Especially, if, you know, if you ever do the Arboretum. I hate Fred and his good ideas. He's <laughs> always got good ideas and good puns. Yeah, he does. Like, he really can't, does. This guy never misses. He does not. He is good. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I think it's really cool, especially if you, like, move ahead with the Arboretum. That you'd be like, this is the one that I planted Ooh, this time. Yep. Here's black walnut. Yeah, the same one. <laughs> here's a black walnut again, but it's a little different. It's a little bigger this time. Yeah. Um, still going. I like this question. How are you guys finding managing home renovations along the family? Any advice? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. Is that silly, Ellie? What? Daddy says, don't do it. Don't do what? Don't fix the kitchen. Is that silly? I think we, we definitely have it easier than most people because we have this kitchen still. Mm. Yeah. We still have a fully functional house. We just have to like look at this half-completed project every day. Right, exactly. Um, let's see. From Brad, would you recommend the forehead orbital sander you use for your white oak floors? I'll be laying the same in a few weeks. The one I use is a three-head. So... Hopefully we're talking about the same one. Okay. And do you recommend? I thought it was nice. It was easy. Um, the the big mm. drum sander style ones scare me because I know wow. myself. Like I'll be like off my mind somewhere and pause mm. moving and then gouge the floor. Mm -hmm. So that the nice thing about the overall ones is that you don't have to really worry about that as much. They're going to be slower than the drum sander style, but that's kind of the trade off. Mm. There's no like thought behind using the one I used. You just kind of go and just go. And the other world, like, you don't have to worry about gouging the floor. I don't know. It took me a few, I don't know. How long did I have that sander here for? It was only a four hour rental. I had it back in time. So it must have only taken me like two or three hours to sand. I used that for the first um, couple of grits. And then I used a, um, whatever you want to call it, the vibratory one, the pad sander for um, 100 and 120 grit. What are you guys doing? Uh, she's fake whispering to me. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, thank you. I can't see my love. Thank you. Um, do you, if you plant trees, do you have a place where you like to get seedlings? From the woods. <laughs> okay, yeah, you like re-harvest. I go them. dig them up. We re relocate them. Yes. A lot, I feel like, from our, our own. There's enough little seedlings here and there i can just pull oh, what i need I too. if i see them or whatever just move them second life design that's for Jared. your yeah so that's for your uh does he do you still have the what's it called the trailer no it died he died oh okay it, it died a horrible death oh no horrible death that's bad to hear one of the wheels fell off Ooh, i hope they weren't using it when it fell off well you know it's jerry oh, it you know it's sheared right off oh my goodness um, how many board feet of lumber do you have i don't know what do you have? Okay, wow, way to get aggressive, Matthew. <laughs> Is that some number that we're supposed to know? 
apparently so much that you don't even know. I got, I've reached that point where I have no idea yeah, how right. much I have. Great. It's everywhere. Is that in log form, in sod form? What do you want to know? Oh my goodness. Because I have no idea. Someone else can come out and scale it for me. From Karen, if you did not have the domino, how would you make the face frames? Um, I'd probably just pocket hole it together and just pray that it all lines up perfectly. Yeah. Do make a make a lot of spacers. Make a lot of spacers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So all the styles and rails in a parallel. Oh, perfect. All right. Well, it is five o'clock. Yay! And I keep getting secrets. We did it. Whispered in my ear. So. We should probably go? No. No? No. Is there anything you want to tell everyone? Today's uh, Friday. Happy Friday? <laughs> That's nice. That's good. Uh, All right. Any plans this weekend, Eloise? Um, I don't know. I don't know? All right. Just hanging out, I guess. I love blah, 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 blah. Okay. okay. Yours is so goofy. Very I good. Good. She's been learning rhyming, um, but she's been taking it quite seriously, as in rhyming nonsense words with nonsense words, so... That's our new thing. I mean, it's rhyming, I guess. Let's end with this question, because it's a good one. From Art, will you be doing more with Donovan for this renovation? Um, yeah, at some point when we do the main level. Okay. I need someone to come help me hold beams. <laughs> Are you excited for Donovan to come back, Eloise? Because what does he bring you when he comes? What? What does Donovan used to bring? What? Do you remember? No. It's been so long? What? He used to bring you donuts. What? Yeah. Donovan used to bring donuts. For who? For you! For this me? Yes. Just for you. No he one even else. put it in his bid. Yeah. Donuts. Against, yeah. against it himself. It was just for me? I mean, it was for everybody, not okay. just for you. Okay. But you, you could have some. All right. All right. Well, until next time. I have a, have a good Friday. Have a good Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Have a Friday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you say bye? Bye. Bubby Dobby. Okay. All right. That's, that's a lot. Bubby Dobby.